evidence for action has been in Bungoma and they have been very supportive because first of all they have started with the sensitization of the health work group and it is this health work group that determines the needs of the department and now when it comes to Ramka they have been so specific advocating for increased budgetary allocation. There have been uh, underfunding in the, uh, for the era managing in Bungoma uh, and that called for the collaboration between the civil society and Ramka Network to organize breakfast meeting and stakeholder meeting, both online and physical, to advocate or press for increased allocation. We have worked quite well with the Evidence for Action Mamaye. And this time around, they have real assistance in terms of advocacy for increased funding for RAMC activities. Together with the CSOs, there have been actually a very good link between the department and the county assembly. There have been a very good link between the technical part and the executive of the county and department of health. We came up with the annual work plan scorecard and the scorecard links resources with technical assistance from E4A and uh, we came up with an online tool which made it very efficient to collect data, to analyze. So that has gone a long way to capacity builders as a senior health management team members in terms of supervision to the other cadres and even to the hospitals and to the sub-county health management teams in terms of use of the, the tool and the scorecard, especially in terms of uh, reproductive health. We noticed we cannot do the assessment on our own, so we had to involve the NHIF. And I really thank uh, E4A because they were on the forefront to give us that technical assistance. We got uh, an officer who has been now, after this exercise, we found it very necessary. She's now seconded to Nairobi Metropolitan Services. The NHIF came out strongly and so through the technical support we are able to identify the gaps where we are leaking funding and where we are having uh, challenges accessing reimbursements from NHIF. The county government through our honorable governor we are actually constructing a regional blood transfusion centre building where we shall have all that we need to become a blood transfusion center. Initially we had uh, four hospitals and the rest of the 118 facilities were health centers and dispensaries. We had four hospitals at level four, we have elevated them to level five. And you know, apart from putting them at their correct levels of care, it means there's uh, more reimbursement, we'll be able to generate more resources because we are claiming at a higher level. The civil societies are usually a little bit loud and persistent and so when it comes to things like advocacy, when we request for increased funding, uh, we actually get through the network. Some of them have even direct access to our, our governor. So sometimes in terms of pushing, if there's delay anywhere, they can actually also just use the office of the governor to push what, what they want for the Department of Health. And we thank them because uh, the one of the organizations who have really come out at the correct timings, especially when we are doing the county fiscal strategy paper, that this is a time you can influence budget, and this is a time when you find we are collaborating with the civil society to be able to advocate for us at community level.